Hello, my posse pals, and welcome to World of Horror. Um, an homage, an homage to the uh, text-based adventure games of the late 80s, early 90s. Um, cosmic horror themes. There's a lot of gross shit in here. I'm going to do my best to uh, remember to filter it out, you know, for like the truly horrible stuff. Uh, nothing like in the realm of SA or anything like that. It's all like body horror, cosmic horror. No. Let's get into it. So we are a paranormal investigator who grew up in this little Japanese town. And we, uh, we've come home, and there's a cult trying to summon a... a dark god. Uh... Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna just do extracurricular activity. City of Shibokawa. Shibokawa. Japan, 1980. Something strange is happening in our town. Rogue figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth aeons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and realms beyond. The old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrive at the new town. The Missing Stars Media reports on various people with seemingly supernatural skills. Could it have any connection to the news about the stars disappearing from the night sky? The old gods rule. Casting spells raises Doom instead of its normal cost. So Doom is tracked up here, and that's essentially our timer for the adventure. Uh, we're going to have to solve f uh, four or five mysteries, I forget how many, before that Doom counter hits 100. Once that Doom counter hits 100%, the dude awakens... I don't know who they're trying to summon, but they awaken, and uh, it's game over. Oh, I learned a new spell, Regeneration. Great. Uh, regeneration allows me to regain 4 stamina at the cost of 2 reason. Stamina is our physical health. Reason is our mental health. Um... We've got an inventory. Right now we have nothing. We've got our stats down here. Strength, dexterity, perception, knowledge, charisma, and funds. Funds is money. Uh, oh, neat. We can just forget the spell. I'm gonna keep it. Our spells menu. Our status. Uh, any injuries or, like, traits we pick up are gonna go there. Well, I guess traits we pick up are gonna go into perks. Uh, the town status, each... A feeling of paranoia and discomfort is almost palpable in the air. Each mystery we solved is gonna fill in these boxes with one or more statusy things. And it can go from, like, oh, there's gonna be more looters downtown to, oh, everywhere you go costs one doom. Level up, level up. I don't have enough experience. The old god is Ah Yolanda. And their cosmic gift. <laughs> gift. Is that casting spells raises doom. Which is good. The last one I had was Gozio. Goizo. And it was like resting raises doom. And it's like, well. Resting is one of the primary ways to heal. Thank you for doing this on my first playthrough. That's very appreciative. <laughs> so the lighthouse is what we're trying to get into. You need five keys. Well, I need 
four keys, because one of them's already, one of the padlocks is already open. Which means I have to solve four mysteries. Each mystery gives you a key. Each key unlocks a padlock. Get in there, final dungeon, boom. Boom jams. We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave the lighthouse. We're gonna go home. Uh, my mailbox is empty. This is not my mailbox, thankfully. I don't know what the fuck's happening in here. Whoa, I got a big old bottle of wine. Nothing happens. So this is the normal house room. Open this up, maybe. Nope, alright. Oh yeah, I grabbed an empty bottle out of there. Store liquids in it. Uh, you got use, equip, examine, put it into storage, I don't know what any of that crap is, I don't know what that is, but that's throw away, that's sell. So what we're going to do before we start off, we're going to take a bath. I'm gonna fill the empty bottle with water because that's now neat. I could just heal. And we're gonna take a warm water bath for a small experience boost. Gave us five experience. You hit 100 experience, you level up. You level up, you get to pick a perk, you get to increase the stat. Um, do I have anything in storage? Nope. Can I have that knife? That Cthulhu idol, and I have those papers, nothing. No way. Boo, boo, boo. Now we can watch TV. Once a year, a ramen shop appears where there was once an alleyway. The ramen shop, the ramen sold inside, is made from its former patrons, but can cure any health problem. Neat. That's fucking, I'd eat it. Whatever. We could change our outfits, but I like that outfit. So let's go, um... We could peek through there, we can see our creepy neighbor. Fuck you, creepy neighbor. <clears throat> so we're gonna go to our Charlie Day board. Inexplicable and morbid event events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Dope. So we've got a uh, bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin, vicious verses of a violent vigil, horrible history of household hell, and chilling chronicle of a crimson key. We're gonna do that one, that sounds fun and fashionable. Ooh, a new, a new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Atamanto. What was originally a harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. The school principal has banned the game, but that only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another child is killed. Dope, let's go. Uh, so obviously it happens at the school, so let's go to the school. So, items, uh, areas have little sub-places you can go. Like, you can go to the schoolyard, um, to learn gossip or recruit a allies. You can go to the library to study up, maybe learn a spell or something. Uh, usually it costs doom to enter these, these areas. Uh, basically everything we do is going to be generating doom because that is our timer. Actually, I might want to go to downtown to the shop. See how I entered the shop and our doom shot up from zero to four um, percent. We have six money. I'm gonna buy. I wasn't done.
Oh, you. You dog, you. Alright, well. Blue gem. It vibrates slightly in my hand. Alright, whatever. I was hoping to buy the backpack, the steak knife, and the compass, but this is also fine, I guess. Uh, what are you doing there? This might have been a mistake to go shopping. Uh, let's go... Vamos a la escuela. They hit investigate, this little animation pops up, and then an event pops up. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors is opened on its own. Close that door! You walk to the door to try to close it, but something is blocking you. When you look up, you see a ghostly pale hand holding the door. Prepare for combat! You back off from the toilet as the door slowly opens. A girl in tattered uniform is standing there. Her head twists unnaturally as she makes a roaring, rattling noise. A door behind you slams shut. Toilet ghost! So combat here. You have a little combat wheel over the side. Um, it's very, very turn-based. So basically, you've got a, you've got a kick, a regular attack, a heavy attack, a prepare. Prepare costs time, but makes the next hit land regardless. You've got a tiny prepare, which boosts you by 10%, and then, I don't know what that is, I've never had that pop up before. But since this is a ghost, you can't use physical shit. So you got that, you have uh, your support actions, which is like, look for a thing, assess the situation, uh, learn about the enemy. I don't know what this is, I've never been desperate enough to use it. And, uh, dodge. Uh, no, tell the guy, tell your ally to distract. We're gonna assess the situation. We're gonna pop over to here with your defensive action. Um, run away. A doom penalty, but you escape the, the combat. Meditate, get a reason back for two stamina. There's another one of these that's get a stamina back for two reason. Uh, brace for impact, cut damage by half. Dodge lower the hit chance. We're gonna... Oh shit, 50 power. Ugh. Spiritual action. <coughs> Spiritual actions, you can do like rituals by bowing and clapping. Uh, you can pray. That's the one stamina for the reason. And against ghosts, you can leave an offering which burns a fund to deal 6 damage to the ghost, or you can sever ties, which deals 2 damage to the ghost. We're gonna do sever, sever, sever. And then when we're ready, we're gonna hit launch sequence. So she's doing just reason damage to us. So the toilet ghost is a guy. Ghost male. Rumors tell of a female ghost occupying the last stall in the toilet on the third floor. Alright, whatever, that's fine. We're gonna sever, sever, sever.
We're gonna keep severing because I have nothing. I don't want to waste my money. Wait, what's that? Hey, corpse does. I can use it to get 20 experience at the cost of 2 luck. No thanks, Turkish. I'm unlucky enough already. We're gonna... we're gonna... I don't want that. Alright, with your friends safe for now, you should look into the legend. Maybe records in the city library make mentions of Akamanto. You've reported it to your principal, who promises he will take care of it. Uh, so right now we need to gather gossip about the current mystery. To do that we have to go to the schoolyard. Akamanto asks which paper do you want, you must refuse anything. Thank you, that was very helpful. You heard about this computer then. It's just a story, right? Oh, that costs my... I didn't want to spend my experience. Hey, you want to come with me? Come with me. Oh, okay. Come with me. Dope. So each person has things that they bring to the party. Um, unfortunately, she reduces my knowledge by one. He increases my reason and stamina by one. I'm not entirely sure, but I think the circle tells you where to go to progress your, um, to progress the mystery investigation. I got three people with me, yay! When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package, but hesitate, an icy feeling settling in the pit of your stomach. Fuck it, yeah, let's go! As soon as you pick up the package, you realize what you were holding and dropped in hard. Eight experience. Sure. Head back over to school. The pool is empty at this hour. It's dark, but you could swear something suddenly moved under the surface of the water. Let's go look at the lockers. Hell yeah! Someone left their wallet in one of the open lockers. So we found some articles. One of them mentions a young doctor who performed life-saving surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in the toilet cell. Maybe he still works at the hospital and shares some information? Boy howdy, I would love a weapon. with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital watching the sunset. 
Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthed event. Her stories about missing patients, mysterious surgeries, and strange infection are helpful, but they kill the mood. You must leave this place. Plus 10 experience, minus 2 reason. Okay, that's a pretty okay trade-off. You stumble upon a nurse trying to open a door to the intensive care unit, constantly mumbling something. When she turns around, her face makes you scream in horror! Hi! Alright, so... Doll Nurse is, has 20 HP, one reason. Um, 20 HP doing one reason damage and 7 power. So we're going to take a support action to look for a weapon. Gonna attack boost. Attack boost and then kick. Let's go. <laughs> Dalner's grabs me while screaming. Alright. So we looked for an we looked for an improvised weapon and found a branch. Uh, branch is a one-handed strength-based weapon. We have a strength of seven, so that's uh, throw. That's what that is. It's throw. All right. Um, it deals one damage, three blunt damage, ninety speed, seventy to hit. All right. We're gonna equip it real quick. Um, seventy-three percent. We're gonna prepare, attack, prepare, attack. So we're gonna get two regular attacks. He's gonna yell at us. We'll do prepare, heavy attack. She's really chowing down on our reason. Oh man. Alright. There we go, we got her. You learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder taking all the records with him. Why would he do that? Isn't that illegal? Why didn't anybody stop him? That's not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come to school today and another body has supposedly been found. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. So the school's threat location has gone up, which means, um, bad things. Uh, you get a minus one, we get a minus one modifier to all skill checks done here. But we can counteract that by asking them to go... Control. Thank you! The principal has ordered the school to be closed down for the investigation. Takahashi! You hear a chipper voice shout during a jog around the area. You turn your head to see another one of your teammates in casual clothes smiling, blissfully aware of everything that's going on. What's up, Captain? Notice anything weird lately? After a bit of playful coaxing, you convince her to join you for another lap or two. The extra competition motivates you to have to push yourself harder. You wrap up your workout tired but satisfied with yourself. I don't know what that's supposed to do. 
So we, we're breaking into the school now. You break the window and get inside the school unnoticed. The cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there. Getting access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it. If only there was a way to make her go away for a while. An announced inspection? She asked. Thank you for telling me. While the receptionist is busy updating some boring papers, he copies some names and addresses for the database. Okay. There is no turning back now. You step into the last stall and close the door behind you. Investigate the cursed toilet! You wait in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible. Suddenly... Squeak! The sound of rubber boots and an unknown liquid dripping on the tiles. Squeak! You can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. Squeak! The door slowly opens. A man dressed in a red coat nearly too tall for the ceiling emerges from outside. To help me! His voice sounds like a faulty radio. Would you like red paper or blue paper? Fucking, I don't want anything from you. It's getting darker. The tall man in the red coat slowly takes their mask off as stall walls wither and rot, and reality starts to crumble. Akamanto! He's gonna hurt everything. Uh, 30 power, reducing our chance to hit by 20, he's got 32 HP. Yonks. Alright, this is gonna be rough. Hair. Heavy. See now, four and two, or three and three. It makes literally no difference. Hair attack, hair attack. That's doing. No, that's doing that. Oh, that's shoot a guy. That was the icon I didn't know. If I can get away with this, it's... nope, can't do that. All I can do is keep welling on him and hope I have the chance of the uh, stats to help out him. Oh, it should be good, actually. Hey, fuck you, Akamato. When you wake up, you find yourself back in the toilet stall. Thinking it was all a dream, you stand up, only to hear a crack from under your shoe. There lies a broken crimson mask. Akamanto might return one day, but now you know that ancient horrors can be defeated. Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape, ending A. And then you get rewards for solving the everything. Uh, you get knowledge, you get experience. There's the, you get your doom dropped a bit. Uh, so, well, you get a point of healing in each stat, and a day passes. So now, the old god stirs. The crimson moon spotted over Shogawa keeps everyone on the edge. Oh, fuck me, alright. Uh, all enemies get 20 power. Terrific. I've earned enough to level up. So you get your choice of three perks. And a strength. Or, and a... That. I'm going to take Folklore Stories. I'm 
we're gonna put a point into ah, strength. Let's go home. We check the mailbox. Hey, cut it out. Thank oh, cut it out. Inside the mailbox we find a small key. What is it doing in there? Take a bath. I'm gonna take a cold water for extra reasons again. Get a point back. Watch the TV. The search for the the search for our missing person continues in the forest around in Shikawa. If you have any information, please contact the police department. Peek through the peephole. Oh, there's somebody down there. Someone is standing in shadow watching the door. Great. We're gonna access our storage. We're gonna... Positive the blue gem. We'll do vicious. No, horrible history of household hell. There are many old mansions around this town. Ooh, Manor is one of them. Supposedly haunted by the family of four who disappeared without a trace whatsoever. But is it the only tragic event that took place there? Like, straight up, first things first, we're going home real quick. We're gonna rest. White. Back up to 22. Okay. Investigate the seaside location twice. Let's go. Seaside's at a uh, low threat. The town's docks are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wind temple occupies a small hill at the town center. Temple. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not, the smell of burning incense and old wood calms you down. Sometimes you get good events. It's very rare, but sometimes you get good events. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you, minus two reason. Well, okay. <laughs> Learned the cliff meant the mansion was built on is famous for its extensive cave system. You've decided to rent some books that might help you. Friends you've talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library may shed some light on it. We've got an architect's journal. One house owner, however, decided to make use of the cave tunnel. It's a natural concert hall, he claimed. An article covers a group of scientists from Tokyo. They're exploring and mapping the weird cave formations found in the cliffs. The search of the missing team of scientists continues. The only clue so far is a code written on the cave wall. 430 Hertz. Library, anyway. Many of the no uh, you feel the gaze of the library. Oh, no. Many of the books you can find here were donated after the accident at the university building. Take notes. You carry a few books out to the main reading room. You decide to make some notes about subjects that could be relevant to this case. 
Hopefully, all your hard work will go to waste. Alright. Uh, let's investigate here. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you're not the only student here. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as she's getting close. Young Wendy. Hey, I got a box cutter. Resolve combat. It's broken. Looks like it'll break the Uh, alright. Oh. Put in storage. The building was supposed to be somewhere near the cliffs. You copy the mansion's photo from the newspaper and compare it. Pleasantly surprised to find your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since last you've seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful? Hey girl, let's get a coffee! In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly awakening to rule the earth once again. finally find the one, there's only one problem. You'll need a strong rope to enter the mansion through the high window. Alright. abandoned mansion your friends have talked about. Let's explore it. Okay. The investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. Ah, alright. So now we have a little sub-map. So we can click the little rooms here to explore. Our master is coming and we all can bask in its glory. Oh, hello. Don't you look fun and fancy free? You deal doom damage. I don't like that. What is that? That's 61 times. Yeah, alright, cool. You still get through. Yikes, alright. Well.
Alright, well... Eat that, magic man. You've heard a weird noise coming from the lock study. You must find it. People point and talk about a man on the other side of the street. He looks confused, muttering to himself while occasionally touching a festering wood on his You stop in your tracks and listen to the old man's first incantation. I've learned the seal of Brammel. Brammel? Sure. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? <laughs> I found you at last! I don't know what that means. The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly, a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just seconds ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer. Hell yeah, touch that stone! When your fingers touch the stone, the symbols disappear. That's a good thing, right? It's just... Decide to push it out of the way. You discover a niche in the wall. Someone has put three dusty dolls in there. When you try to reach and grab one, however, they jump off and scatter around the room, giggling. <laughs> ah, dolls! All that is okay. Found out we need to level. We're gonna level up. Um, art knowledge and strength. Great, we're in pretty good shape. Hate that. Corpses are strung up on wire, like macabre marionettes with painted smiles and rosy. Mask Festival. As you glance around, you notice that more and more people are wearing strange masks, unlike anything you've ever seen before. As you turn to your friends for reassurance, you notice that some of them also wear these eerie masks. Their voices sound muffled and distorted, and you can't shake off the feeling that they're not quite themselves. The hair is on the back of your neck, stand on end, and you realize something is terribly wrong. They hide something. You can't help but wonder what lies behind the mask steal the faces of the people around you. Are these even the people they claim to be, or are they just masquerading as something they're not hiding their true identity behind masks like that? I lost your reason for that. Great. 
last room of the mansion. The study room. You aren't sure what to expect. The, the sturdy door to the study opens with a creak. The dark, dusty room is empty, but something feels wrong. A faint draft, perhaps. You move the rotting carpet aside to reveal a secret passageway cut directly into the cliff rock. The underground chamber. Following a strange song, you discover a hidden passage that leads into an underground chamber connected to the sea. You can't find the source of the sounds, but then it hits you. The acoustics of this place make the waves sound like the most beautiful serenade. Mesmerized, you step closer to the stone altar at the end of the room. Yeah, fuck, let's go! Unholy chants coming from the caves connected with the mansion must have driven the family insane. With no connection to the outside world, they fed on what they had, themselves. However, this doesn't explain the fresh corpses and what tracks around the altar. Horrible history of household hell ending C. All right. Another effect. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. It must be the radio mass failure. So again, we go home. We get the house. We leave our house. Can we go to lighthouse? There we go. Lighthouse. Open up the two pad box and on. That's not fabulous. I will say that. Can't get any signal from the outside world. What is happening? I don't have any VHSs to watch. Okay, back to the Charlie Day room. The bloody brief of a bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board software allow computers to communicate over phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anybody can connect to the bulletin system or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all of the messages on that bulletin and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics. Everything from video games to sports to idol culture. But in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun and games. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind the suicides? How could so many people all be driven to take their own lives? I don't know, but let's find out. Uh, as always, we're gonna start this investigation with a very nice bandage on the fresh wounds. Cool. Let's get going. I investigate the forest location twice. Alright. overhead block the sunlight and you begin to feel gloomy. Okay. The forest is like the worst location I found. Now, very rarely do good things happen here. Drooping tree branches hang over the paths. 
framing it in an almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. Let's get lost in thoughts. You get completely lost in your thoughts. You wander around the woods for a long time, but you're sure you have some new leads in your investigation. Yay experience. The last time this was revealed to be a pit that I fell in and like broke my ribs or something. <laughs> Dumb. After searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching at them. I write this for everyone wanting to stay behind. The sacrifice is worth it. Life's meaning comes from our relationships. Share death, and that connection will outlast you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone here is waiting for you, so if you lose your resolve, just listen to the voice of humanity. Great. Nothing to say about that, great. Even if the rumored bulletin system's phone number is found, there is no hope to investigate it without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school library has one that'll work. Oh, don't literally go to the library. Okay, um... Leave? Is leave an option? I don't want to be here. I have to make notes while I'm here. Alright. Well. Return books and exit the library. Wait, why is it suddenly so dark outside? You stand by the window to take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, coating everything in an oily vapor. Run from that window. You run from the window before anything happens. While the school's library computer doesn't have a modem, you happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. She apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arrange to meet her at you arrange to meet at her home in the city. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying nearby. Let's take her home! You offer to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. Great. You lug the cardboard box full of PC parts up your apartment stairs. Teach Clem teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. God damn, our computer's heavy. <laughs> oh my god, old computers are fucking enormous, too. Sounds telling us we gotta go to our, our apartments. Hey, neighbor! You knock on your friend's door and wait. Hey, I'm really busy today. Let's hang out some other time, okay? Alright, fuck you too, buddy. The investigation is starting to take a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Plus 4% doom, thanks! Hey, we got a level though. Let's take that real quick. Uh, hot bath. Quick thinking. Fast swimmer is real good, and we're gonna take another point of strength. You wipe the sweat from your brows, you finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. The newscaster on the TV says that the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in other nearby towns. You need to act quickly. But I thought we were cut off from other towns.
When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Fucking read them. Woo! I won the lotto! Two monies. Hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital. With how many deaths there have been, the hospital is in chaos. The staff looks exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down onto the desk for a minute, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. You know, since we're here, we can go... Can we go in the morgue? No, the morgue's door is closed. Can we go to a patient room? No, I shouldn't be bothering the patients. Alright, let's get healed real quick. Emergency department is crowded as a direct result of the weird things happening in your town. You're finally asked to the doctor's office. Now, uh, how can I help you today? Oh, this is only to heal injuries? Ooh. Well, I wasted Doom for nothing then. While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. The elevator door is open. Elevator door is open, revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator, biting and suffocating you. Later, you wake up in a doctor's office. A nurse discovered you lying unconscious on the elevator floor. Girl, you ain't looking good. You overhear two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering at her grandparents' home in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. Alright, let's go downtown. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. You realize what's happening. They stole your wallet! Motherfuckers! You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing into the crowd. As you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shokawa students left in front of a train, hand in hand. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching down the village streets. Alright, before we do that, we gotta... Take two quick nappies, please. And then we go to the village. You stand in the middle of a field, frozen in terror. A rip in our reality shows the horrible future of our planet. Seeing the familiar figure looking back at you, you can't help but wonder if it's our world that's just an illusion. Fuck it, let's hop in. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. This isn't what I expected to happen, but okay. The temperature abruptly drops and you shudder in the icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. A sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb and freezing. You have to move. For the pyramid! The frozen guard corpse is standing on eternal duty find you where they the Usurper King kindly decides to share his forbidden knowledge with you. Okay. Oh, I got the Frostbite. What does that do? Minus two strength. That's not great. When you find the girl's house, her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your effort to stop the deaths. Forgive her, her grandfather says as... He leads you to her bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her.
question. No one answers when you knock at Professor Takaichi's door. This is odd since he's normally punctual about his appointments. The smell of blood tells you that something's wrong, and you quickly open the door and make your way inside. There's no sign of the professor, but the quantity of blood everywhere leaves little doubt as to what has happened. But how? And why? Look for clues. You notice a book lying on the floor. You pick it up to find that four pages have been torn out. You memorize the title of the book. Why would someone take them, and what do they contain? Yeah, I'm trying to investigate the village, but I had to go to some weird professor's house. Following a weird gargling noise, you enter an alley. Standing in the shadow, you notice a person wearing a policeman's uniform. You've made a horrible mistake. The Lumpy Officer! Oh my god, Lumpy Space Princess. Good, that's great. That's great, actually. That's a great salvo. Let's... Save that. Oh! The lumpy officer reaches for his gun. Heads <laughs> up, citizen. Handcuffs? Dope. Uh, lower a human enemy's power by five. Or, if I use them, defeat a human enemy with 12 or less health for me. Oh, while in inventory, okay. <clears throat> as soon as you arrive home, you dial the number and put the handset onto the modem. Your heart pounds as the computer as the computer pan. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums. You hear a brief dial tone and then it finally connects. Invest in your computer. Welcome home. Do you like it? Yes. I'm glad. And put it to your ear. You recall the note you found. Could this be the voice of the man that you left out? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear words or a voice. You soon understand they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Everyone is here now! Except Waluigi! We have escaped everything that held us back in life. We don't have any more burdens. You can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence. A paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We will bring all humanity together. Suffering is human, bro. How can you believe that? Well, if you want to suffer, go ahead. Your consciousness dips. By the time you snap out of it, you're strangling yourself with the phone cord. The entity assaults your mind, but the struggle brings out strength you didn't know you had. You refuse to die. I lose 5 stamina but gain 15% max stamina. You listen to the staticky signal on the other net. That's probably supposed to say end. It's harsh to your ear. But then, the noise begins to slowly change into something beautiful. You want to join it. Whoa! I'm gonna fight a modem? Oh hell yeah. <clears throat> no 
Yo, Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. From the bulletin's number in a phone book, you find the system operator's address. When you enter the cramped apartment, you're met with a smiling, hanged teenager and a still-running unplugged computer. You smash it to pieces. With the root cause gone, the, event, the suicide's eventually slow. While you couldn't save those already in its thrall, you're relieved to know that the bulletin won't take any more victims. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin ending B. Hey, let's level up real quick. Um, let's take leadership and charisma. No leadership and knowledge. Yeah, that's the ticket. Time skip. What? I'd have sworn it was Monday, not Tuesday. Right. Oh, that's just extra doom. Great. The shower will help you calm down and do wonders for your sore muscles. What temperature? Cold water. I've got frostbite. I need to get that taken care of. Vicious verses of a violent vigil. The last one we have. received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want with you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client and your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. There's an address and a list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that could happen? Oh, I don't get to explore the town. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but where is everybody? The Explore Mansion action will unlock new locations and progress this mystery. Okie dokie. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old locked cabinet. When you remove the book's wrappings, you recoil in disgust from bound in human flesh. Burn it! You may never know what's inside the hideous book, but that's a good thing. And we lost three new. Great. Take you some time, but finally, you manage to find someone. Is that another guest? You should ask them what's going on in here. Four actions on the right allow you to investigate the location and interact with it. 9pm, 8 hours till dawn. What's that? 
A pair is standing next to a window. The man is muttering something to himself while his wife is observing you with unnaturally bulky eyes. The body is late in the master bedroom. You should pay him your respects. Alright. Okay, bye. Suddenly, a wall in front of you withers and falls apart, revealing a hole ridden monster. Whoa! Holy, holy moly! Alright. Yes, I am pleased with myself about that. Clap, 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 clap. It's gonna hurt our reason. We don't have a lot of reason. Ah, oh, little toesies! Gross! Pressing a handkerchief to your room. Nope, incorrect. Master bedroom. Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your granduncle to just lie here. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe other guests will know. I don't know. Let's go. Can we go ask them? Who's that? A muscular man is eyeing you as you take a step towards him. You can't help but notice a deep scar going across his face. You didn't get this with the letter? Here, take mine. Nine PM, start of the vigil. Ten PM, pray over the body. Bow clap, bow clap. 11 p.m. Modest Supper. 12 a.m. Pray over the body. Clap, bow, bow, clap. 1 a.m. Uh, 2 a.m. Burn an envelope. Found in the study. 3 a.m. Cover the mirror in the storage room. 4 a.m. Uh, end of the vigil. Dope. Alright. 10 p.m. Oh, I did the bow, clap, bow, clap. I've prayed enough. Go back to the corridor. Alright, so... Modest Supper. Modest Supper. Ugh, twisted reflection. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Check out that supper! It hurt me. You shudder instantly recognizing the room from the newspaper photo. You shudder, you shudder, comma, instantly recognizing the room from a newspaper photo. Three years ago, a man hanged himself here. Why is a vigil held in a place like this? Check that wardrobe! Get back, Cleaver! Oh hell yeah! That's dope. Uh, sharp one-handed strength. Great. Damage 4, speed 90. Chance to hit 65. Extra damage against human and monster enemies, which is mostly what I've been seeing with the exception of Toilet Ghost. Alright, 
what's the next thing we gotta do? Uh, 12 at midnight, we have to pray over the body. Clap, bow, bow, clap. It's a mask festival. They gotta be preparing. Uh, a sense of dread creeps over you as the masked people are swarming through the store, filling their carts with food and survival equipment. You notice the goods prices have already skyrocketed. You realize that you need to act fast if you want any chance of survival. Cool. Midnight. Uh, Grandpa, Grand, grand Uncle, where'd you go? Is it because I prayed wrong? The overgrown study. It seems that someone has already removed all the furniture from this room. The overgrown plant is casting an unsettling shadow. Okay, well, I'm just... Oh, okay. Oh, where is everybody? Everybody's gone. Okay. Bath time? Oh good, more doom. Entering a dark room, you spot Hawado and his wife hugging each other. When they turn around, you scream in terror. Their bodies are slowly becoming one, and, they, and they fused, their fused faces express the same thing. Rage. Corridors twist and turn, trapping you in this mansion. You think you can hear the other guests somewhere, but should you risk getting yourself lost? Grandpa didn't come back. Nobody in here. Oh! Okay! I hate that, I hate you! Oh boy! Sure wish I didn't see that. some time but you finally find an envelope. Following the instruction, you burn it without opening. You feel weird following obscure orders. I guess we'll look around some more. You feel watched. You retreat from the room. The other guest is now safe with you. The whole building tracks and moves. You're scared of what will come next. I sure am, because I only have four reasons left. Didn't I... kill them? Yeah, you're still there, buddy. Okay. Alright. Feeling like you're on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend, Father Yasugi. Hey, kiddo, says the priest is currently moving some boxes in and out of the church. Could you lend me a hand? Lifting the box, you feel your back cracking, but you manage to get it all over with relatively quickly. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you inside for a cup of hot tea and home-baked cookies made by one of the parishioners. You explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all of your doubts and anxiety. Alright, that's cool, I got some reason back. 
didn't like that. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. Walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth as the slimy appendage slowly gets closer. A voice in your head tells you what to do. An unseen force leaves your hands. You reach for a knife and stab a surprise guest. I don't like this at all. Sorry. The ritual. The price is paid. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the wet grass, the old mansion nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize the tattoo on your man on the man's toe. It's your deceased great uncle. With a coarse voice, he explains the ritual. You try to keep up with him, but you're weak and your head spins. The death toll must remain the same. To die and to survive. You feel like vomiting as the old man, who has cheated death, disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. <laughs> The man who you thought was your uncle has cheated death, making you an accessory to murders. You know police officers won't believe you when you tell them the truth and do your best to forget the nightmares you left behind. Vicious version of a violent vigil ending C. Alright. Solved. What do you got? The air feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. Rest is less effective. Take that key. Take that bath. Nothing. Nothing left to investigate. Time to go to the lighthouse, I guess. Oh, time to get a level. Uh, luck. Discipline. And we're gonna take, we're gonna take reason. Alright, let's enter the lighthouse. The ominous lighthouse has been closed down for longer than you can remember. finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things. That whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place, and that you should run as far as you can. You're afraid. There won't be a way back once you start climbing these stairs. I'm gonna rest a bit. I'm gonna rest a bit. Now we're gonna start climbing, baby! <clears throat> Trial of Blood Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. A cable that should be powering it is currently disconnected. The power box itself is covered in a weird, moist goo. Just inhaling the fumes makes your eyes itch and water, but to power the gate, you'll need to disconnect the plug. Fault the plug. 
The weird hue burns your fingers, but you quickly manage to separate the faulty plug and connect the proper cable. With a buzz, the gate opens. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by darkness. A thick black cloud is obscuring your vision in the square. Something is waiting for you inside. Nothing to it but to do it. You decide to brave through the veil. You finally emerge a while later, safe. You can't, however, explain the blasphemous whispers you heard. Alright. You are stopped by a girl wearing a dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she said, reaching for her bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in hand. You have to think fast. Not enough charisma, ooh. You try to talk her into allowing you to pass, but suddenly she raises the knife and slices right across her own throat, nearly decapitating herself. Carefully step over the body. Climbing up the winding staircase, you are stopped by a masked man wearing an expensive suit. The rules have changed, kiddo, he says, taking the jacket and mask off. Nerf nothing personnel, really. Takashi-san. He hits for doom. 30 power. Baby, you're under arrest! Trial of Blood, nice. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect the door to a hole inside the central pillar. If there's a switch inside, you'll have to risk getting cut by numerous black shards and knives. Find a switch, baby! You manage to locate the door switch while avoiding the knives and glass shards. With a buzz, the gate opens. Dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You've managed to stop the ritual awakening elders. Old God. You managed to stop the ritual awakening the elders. Old God. But what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right again. Congratulations, you are safe. Hey, all right, I did it. Took an hour and a half. This is gonna be a long video, but I did it. So, in this video, we solved four mysteries. We see 25 new events, encountered 11 new enemies, and unlocked five new achievements. Oh. And you can see that like, there's an extra option. Ooh, spooky. Where all your achievements live. Uh, handcuff, alright, catch me if you can, handcuff that dude that unlocks a sphere, the uh, spell. So basically, every achievement you get will unlock something. Endless mode, ooh. <laughs> And then, ah, uh, it's a, it's a roguelike, so each time you go, it'll be a little different. But it'll still follow the same pattern of, like, solve mysteries, get to the lighthouse, stop the old god awakening. Um, and this is, it's a really neat game. I really enjoy it. Um, yeah, I don't know.
catch you next time. Bye!